finished. All done and dusted. The feet are gone. And I'm on foam. Bye bye. Bye bye. So let's drive the new car home. Land Rover Discovery Sport HSC Black. It's the 26th of December 2017. Today I'm going to do a MPG test in eco mode for the Land Rover Discovery Sport to see exactly how much you can expect in real driving city in a eco mode only. So I'm going to use trip B. First I'll let's set it to eco. It's basically on standard I've been driving mostly because eco is a bit slow. So let's set it to eco. Okay, eco program selected. Oh yep, yeah. there he goes, confirms it, eco. So let's go back to the eco data and set the historical data. Trip B, we're going to reset it. Yeah. So we're going to set it to use trip B. Okay, let's go to the yeah, let's go and set it here. These trip settings, trip computer, there we go. Yeah, we'll set it to trip B, to trip bank. Done. So now we can collect data and see what real world MPG will collect. Drive it for at least a few weeks, you know, and get at least some mileage. Current order meter is 13,513, maybe 100 miles, something like that. So we get an MPG in eco mode. There's the mode listed there. We'll see how real eco driving compares against the Land Rover Discovery Sport sales pitch of 53.3 miles per gallon. I don't think I'm going to come anywhere near that in my experience. For instance, Trip A, which was in standard mode, was just 23.4 mpg. Rubbish. That's mainly city driving. That was in standard mode. So standard mode gives you 23.4. Let's see if there's any significant difference between that and eco mode. And you can Monitor your driving style from the eco data as you drive so you can regulate consumption better. Aim to get five for everything or close to five to maximize fuel efficiency. We'll give a summary percentage soon once it's got enough data, once you've been driving for a mile. There we got a 95% efficiency reading. Four point eight on the accelerator, four point eight on the brake and five on the speed and engine. That should improve efficiency. So this helps. Let's continue driving it. Trip B is currently at 3.4 miles only. Let's 
So trip B is currently at only 3.4 miles. So early days. It's now the 16th of January 2018, about three weeks later, and I've done the order meter reads 13,650 miles, so I've done 137 since I started this miles per gallon trip B test. So let's see what trip B reveals. The petrol tank, the fuel tank is nearly empty. So it's not showing anything there. So let's go to eco mode and see what eco data and we'll see what eco mode delivers in terms of MPG. Like I said, I've done 137 on about half a tank. Let's see what MPG we get. Eco data, advanced trip. Okay, historical data. Trip B, there we are. Okay, yeah, I've done 136.5 miles, which is about right. Average speed 22 miles per hour, average fuel 30.3 miles per gallon. Oh, and it shows eco stop time zero. Hmm. Isn't that supposed to show that the car stopped and stopped? So that's the results of this eco mode test. I've driven it on eco mode, look, it shows it there. And uh, but it doesn't actually say that any eco stop time, so maybe my driving has not generated any stop starts. Maybe I've not stopped for long enough. So on this, so the the test started on the 26th of December. And it's now the 16th of January, and I've driven 136.5 miles, average speed 22 miles per hour, average fuel 30.3 mpg, which isn't bad, if it's accurate. Is it accurate? So the fuel tank, I think, was around 50%, maybe 47%. Now it's showing 4%. It's not that bad. It's better than I thought it'd be. So what, how did I drive? I drove... Let's see, I think I drove about 100 miles of, no, oh, about, what is it, uh, maybe 90 miles or 80 miles of that. Yeah, about 80 miles of that on motorway. So that leaves about 56 in the cities and they've got average of 30.3 mpg, which is better than expected. Whilst my driving style says I'm a bit heavy on the gas. Speed is fine, braking is okay, but, but a bit heavy on the gas, giving me three. So I need to go a little bit lighter on the gas. So shall I continue with the uh, trip B for some more miles, or should we try it in a different mode? Eco mode again, sports mode, yeah, we could try in sports mode. But for now, that is the results of... Eco mode test is a Land Rover Discovery Sport. I'm at 30.3 miles per gallon, having driven 136 miles over about three weeks, about 80 on the motorway, and the rest city driving. Okay, there's the other meter. And the date is there. So that's the MPG plan trip B test complete and it's passed. It's actually performed better than I thought. I think these cars do a lot better on motorways than city driving. There's the other trips. What's this one? Let's look at trip last one. Uh, 22 miles per gallon, that's city driving, what you can expect. That's just to the, from the supermarket. Let's go back. Why are you not going back? 
to, before that, this was going to the supermarket. Yeah, 22. So, on motorways, these do a lot better than in the cities. In the city, you can expect 22 miles per gallon. With motorways, you can expect over 30. So that's the conclusion of my miles per gallon trip be test in eco mode. Do subscribe for new videos in this Land Rover Discovery Sport series. So you get the real facts, not the sales pitch. For instance, the Land Rover sales pitch is that it does 53.3 miles per gallon. Realistically, you'll be lucky to get over 30. That's if you go on motorway. If you don't go on motorway and just drive in cities, you can expect 22 miles per gallon. Now compare that to the sales pitch. There's no way anyone's going to get anywhere near 53.3 miles per gallon. I don't think you're even going to get over 40, not unless it's the first week. Only for the first week and just drive on motorways. You'll be lucky to get it in the mid-30s. And for most people, it's a case of 30 will be the top. You best will be 30 and most likely you'll be the mid 20s yeah look mid 20s is most likely and 30 just over 30 is if you drive a lot of motorways to mid 30s if you're lucky you're getting 37 38 that's lucky that's very good most probable is if you drive motorways you're going to get around the low 30s and if you're just driving the cities You'll be looking to get the mid 20s. Yeah. So how do I get rid of this best trip? Clear history. Look, that's the best trip recorded. It was 8.8 .8 miles, 44m. They must have just done this for, timed it for uh, sales purposes, isn't it? Let's clear that. So we get a new best trip. So, how does the Land Rover Discovery Sport compare in terms of MPG against the sales pitch of 53.3 against the reality of what you can expect? I've done two tests here. Uh, trip A was a mix of standard mode and eco mode, about 50-50, the 203 miles, about about one about half yeah about half was on motorway and I get 26.1 miles per gallon roughly a half can't remember exactly here's one that I trip B that I another test I did in eco mode only all of this driving was in eco mode and uh, average fuel consumption was 30.3 on this one I did about 80 miles on motorway against 56.5 on the ordinary road still it's nowhere near the sales pitch also supposed to be on eco mode stop start it says stop start time zero so that says it never actually stop started once shouldn't that show stop start time but it doesn't so my driving style is not suitable for stop starts Anyway, the reality is not match Land Rover sales pitch. I've done several tests now. And uh, in city driving only, you can expect 22 miles per gallon. Mix of city and motorway. So 50 50, you can expect about maybe 27 miles per gallon. More motorway, say 70% motorway, you can expect about 30.3 miles per gallon, 31, 32, something like that. If you drive, say 90% on motorway, then you can expect around maybe 37 miles per gallon. And you're going to be lucky to get to 40. So I don't know where they get the 53.3 from. You've got no chance. You got look. I don't think you've got any chance of getting to 40, actually. So my experience is... A lot less. 
lot less. 30 is... If you can get to 30, you're doing well, but then you're going to have to drive a motorway. So that's the uh, Land Rover Discovery Sport. Miles per gallon, actual versus Land Rover fantasy figures that they put. You know, look, that it is a selling car saying they're doing 53.3 miles per gallon and they do 30. And that is a con. That's nearly half. You know, it's nearly half what you're advertising as. I mean, that's double the fuel consumption. Okay, you can expect. You're not going to get to 53, you might get to, say, f something like 44, 45, 47, maybe, you know, something in the 40s. But in the low 30s, if you're lucky to get to 30, and usually it's even less than that, 22 if you're driving the city, that is a rip-off. In comparison, I had a Zafira that was about 10 year old, and that did an average of 37 miles per gallon he was better than this and he was 10 years old and this is only just over a year old that's a Zafira diesel that is 37 so I dread to think what this is going to be doing when it's 10 years old it's be doing about 10 miles per gallon at this rate so understand this that Land Rover Discovery Sport Miles per gallon, nowhere near reflect the sales pitch of Land Rover. Nowhere near, you don't even come close. Half, you know, in city driving, it's going to be half 53.3. If you're lucky, it might be probably even less. Well, con. Yeah, it's nowhere near 53.3. So that's my... Rant over against Land Rover Discovery Sports garbage MPG propaganda. Do subscribe for new videos in this Land Rover Discovery Sports series where we tell you the real facts, not Land Rover's propaganda. The real facts, not the sales pitches, or what you can expect from owning one.